Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back. If it's your first time here, welcome to my channel, Vintage Jewelry Galore, where I show and sell beautiful jewelry. Today, I'm going to show you a lot of beautiful jewelry from a haul. This is all from one person. I buy off of um, an individual that buys people's estates, and I bought a huge box off of him that weighed, I don't know, 50 pounds or more. I couldn't pick it up. Um, he pushed it out on a computer chair and put it in my car for me, and I had to empty it out in the car. Um, I emptied, looked through it, and put things in bags, brought them in. It took me about 10 hours to go through everything. This is a portion of what was in there. I picked some high pieces out to highlight. Um, a majority of this will be sold at my auction on Monday. That'll be Monday, June the 10th. I'll be on at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I am on every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. That's when I have my live auctions now. So I'm going to get started showing you some things. I'm pretty excited. I have stone. I have pearl. I have a little antique. Um, I have a lot of beautifulness. Let me get started showing you. This is a portion of the copper that I have. Now, um, this is really nice, this one. I have... It's signed right there, run wire on the side. It's a really nice one. There's a lot more as well. I just picked some out. I thought that was a really nice cuff. And then I have these bracelets. There's some that kind of look the same um, or are the same. Are they signed? I'm not sure. But anyways, they're not all the same, as you can see. These two look the same. Maybe they wore them together like that whoever um, he bought them from. Um, these two look the same too. So these are copper. There's a lot more. I picked it. I have, a, I have more of these kind. They could have different designs on them. Beautiful copper. These ones have copper and brass on them combination. And then I have a bunch of these really nice thick ones. Um, a lot of them. And there's a lot more in the, in the box. Okay. They're signed for a copper. It says sell a copper on it. I will show, bring some out. Um, this one's really nice. This is a nice one for a man or if you're a woman that likes a big, thick one. Look at that. That's chunky. Okay. So, lots of copper. Lots more in the bag. I have, hopefully my lighting's good. I'm trying to keep it like good. Okay, I matched a couple earrings. I go to him and I buy boxes. I buy individual pieces as well, but he's kind enough to sell me large box. This is the biggest I ever bought, but I usually buy okay size boxes and I've had single earrings in some of the boxes I don't see a signature on these so I don't know who the maker is but look aren't they very Givenchy looking there's something written in there I think I have to I'm gonna have my daughter look I'm gonna 25 magnified on my um mirror on my magnifying glass I use to fix things and see if I can't see better but I matched them up that's what I'm trying to say I had this one for like a month and the box I bought yesterday had the match very beautiful they look foil back. Um, they are foil back, actually. I can see that in the back of it, too. So that's right. These are not glass. These are a lucite cabochons. And then you have crystals. And they're a matte finished gold plating. So I paired up the earrings. I was super excited that I found a match. I still have a lot of beauties unmatched from him. Hopefully, I find them as I go back. Because it happens to be my favorite spot to shop. So I think they're amazing. I'm going to keep them here so you can look at them. Hopefully it doesn't fall over. They're kind of top heavy or on there on that cheap thing. I have two pairs of Lagunas. Um, AB Crystal. These ones are, as you can see, like a topaz color. And you have the clears on the end. They are signed Laguna on one earring, which is common with vintage. These are 1960s. I also have the clear, just clear AB Cha-Chas. Nice, I think. Two pairs of Laguna. Over here, I have a pair of these that are Eva's. Um, see, top heavy. Let's take them off. I don't want to damage them. They're they're nice. I don't know if they're Givenchy or not, but they look like it. Um, right here, I have a pair of these that are Eva's that I wasn't able to sell. Well, I just happened to have a pair in that box. I believe these are 1940s. Beautiful crystal or clear rhinestones, we'll say. Cha-cha earrings. Okay, look. They are one, two, three. These need cleaned up a little bit. I'm going to put them in water. Okay. Three layers. And then you have the top piece fully burned. I'm going to have to be careful putting them in water because, look, I'm going to use a toothbrush and brush them out. They need cleaned. But they are pretty foil back there. I don't want to damage them. So they're nice, though. I have another pair, too. I don't know if they have to match. I still have to look through stuff. Like I said, I don't know if I said, but I spent 10 hours going through the jewelry. There's those. So lots of copper, Laguna. 
possible Givenchy, if not still amazing. Beautiful 1940 uh, dangly cha-chas. I'll show these next. I think this is beautiful. This is a set. It is blue and clear rhinestone. So I have Eva babysitting Davy for a couple minutes. I'm going to move quick in this video, okay? She's, she's 14. She's pretty responsible, but just to be safe. On the end, you have a rhinestone. On the end of the Jayhawk, you have blue and you have clear. I think it's beautiful. And I have a matching bracelet to go with it. Okay. So a necklace and bracelet match. Blue and clear. In pretty good shape. This is vintage. Then I have, this is amazing, I think. I told myself I'd stop buying the AB, but this was in the box. And it, look at it. It's very nice. It is AJ Hawk, no signature, and clear AB crystals. And I think it's really pretty because of the way it hangs. I have an unmatched Vendome earring that is to die for. I hope I can find it. I'm going back out um, next week. Can I ask if I can look through the boxes? He'll let me. And then I have... This is a push box class on the clear rhinestones, and it is like that. It's nice, fully pronged. It's a vintage necklace as well. Got a nice rhodium in the back, and you have some movement there. Yeah, flexible, comfortable. Both amazing necklaces, if you ask me. Here I have. Oh, I love this one. I may keep it. I don't know if I can though. This, this is um. This is an Art Deco um, gold filled. It has a pushback thumb clasp. Okay. And there's the chain. Beautiful. Uh, red crystal. Looks like crystal to me. Beautiful, beautiful red crystal Art Deco necklace. There's the back. It's very nice, I think. Don't you think? Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not going to measure anything now. I will do that later. Lovely. I have a Joan Rivers necklace, which I think is nice. I don't know what it says in the scroll inside here. I haven't opened it. There's a little scroll with metal over it, and I didn't open it, but it's inside the Joan Rivers egg, and her eggs are highly desirable. This is a nice piece. It is signed Joan Rivers on the cart. Little hang tag right there. Lobster Claw Classical plating and crystals throughout and you have enameling um, or a faux pearl in the background. Really nice with the little squirrel inside. It's a surprise. How's that? Whoever gets it can open it up and see what it says. I, this, I've never had a Pierre Cardin piece. This is a very nice Pierre Cardin piece. This is a 1980s gold plated, beautiful glass and crystal. Look, it's opened. It is signed on a cartouche in the back. Pierre Cardin. P-I-E-R-E-C-A-R-D-I-N. It's marvelous. The gold plating's fully intact. It is a fold-over clasp. It's an amazing necklace. Looks very couture to me. That is Pierre Cardin. Anna's first. When I saw that in the box, it's one of the things that made me decide that. And he dropped the price down a little bit. But I was like, okay, I can't deny it. I have to, <laughs> I have, to have it. But this is beautiful. And I do believe it's Art Deco, no question, in my mind with the construction and everything. I am learning. I'm very thorough before I say something. Typically, I I, I believe. I try. I may make mistakes, but that's the look. The Everything of it is Art Deco. Okay. Um, not an expert, though, but beautiful. Oh, look at all these glass necklaces. I have, I've never seen this before. Let me show, let me move the copper out of the way. Okay, lots of wonderful copper, and I got a lot more. Like, that's tons of copper. This is nice. That's a big one, too. This is very feminine and beautiful. Okay, so I have, this is signed. I've never seen this before. Um, it is signed M West Germany. Maybe somebody knows that. I do know that Vampy would know that if she's coming around still for me. M West Germany. There might be other people I know. Or I can read up on it. I'll figure it out myself. Beautiful, though. Look at this. Beautiful glass necklace. Beautiful old glass. Look how it's faceted cut. And it looks almost like an olive green, but a little bit different. See that? Very beautiful, signed M. West Germany, which I've never seen one signed as such. 
but it's a beautiful glass necklace. Marvelous. It's knotted in between the rondelles or these little, not rondelles, these little um, bicone, glass bicones are in between the glass and it's knotted in between there as well. So it is knotted, so none of the glass is touching. Up here you have it's chain linked. It's a very well-made piece. It's beautiful. I don't even know the dating on it. I've never seen one signed as such. This is amazing. This is signed gold filled. I believe this is Art Deco as well. Signed gold filled, pushback clasp. Well, kind of a little bit bigger actually, but strung on an old, um, an old thread and beautiful, softly ro rose cut. I guess you would call that faceted um, beads and the clear and it's it's amazing. And it's nice and beautiful. Look how and you go down. I think that's crystal, actually. Right here. These are crystal. Black glass and crystal. Amazing. I do believe it's Art Deco as well. That's very lovely. Okay. I have this. <laughs> I have everything on the ground now. This is signed Germany, West Germany. Or wait, I'm wrong. This is the Laguna, actually. This shocked me, actually. This is... I'm, I'm wrong. I have a lot of Germany. This is actually signed Laguna. And this is a little different take on the Laguna. Look how beautiful. You have the beautiful um, clear foiled back rhinestones and set there and there. Then it's signed Laguna on the clasp. And there's the extender on the chain that needs wiped off. Everything needs wiped off a little bit. You know, stuff sits for a while. I'll make sure that's good. Um, But yeah, I need to clean this one. This one needs put in water and actually washed. It was at the bottom of the box had some dust on it but I'll clean it I'll make it beautiful for you there you go nice rhodium in the back beautiful necklace beads signed to Laguna I've never seen one like that very long gold filled clasp on this and look these are separated again soft cut um I felt like maybe I had some jet I have to test them I have a necklace this one I think it's too shiny um, but anyways, this is very long. I don't think now if it's quite flapper length. It's a vintage necklace, definitely. Not sure if it's um, antique or not, if it's deco or not on this. Let me measure it. I'm going to measure it down at 48 inches. That is flapper length, so perhaps it is. I think flapper length's 48 or is it 54. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They necklace is all measurements. It's just a beautiful vintage glass necklace with nice, like it's faceted but smoothly cut, kind of rounded. So I have that very long, lovely 48 inch. I have this beautiful crystal and with a gold filled clasp, crystal and glass. I mean, crystal and black glass, yeah. The lovely Laguna. Marvelous. The M Western Germany glass in, probably we'll say glass. Then the set that I already showed. But this I have is also West Germany, I believe. I think this is very nice. And this is the one, sign West Germany. This is the one that kind of looked like, sign made in Germany on here too. Kind of looked different to me. Like, I don't know though. I have to test it. Um, I'll sell it as glass because I don't know what it is. If I can figure it out, I'll sell it different. But look how nice the bicones are on there. And they have beads as the separators in between. It's a double strand. And I think it's beautiful. So there's that. <laughs> I'm moving fast. I feel like I kind of have to. I have Eva out there in control. And it's a lot to show. I have this as well. The Curtis 14 karat gold filled genuine onyx set in the original box. I don't know exact dating on this. I have to look. Okay. And it's easy for me to look because I have a name on it and I'll take it out and look at what the findings look like on it as well to see. And another way I think it'll tell me, I know when this was made, if I know, I can pull it out. This isn't a teaching class. I'm showing things. Look at the findings against. I'm not trying to teach anybody. I'm telling you how I gauge it. Okay, beautiful though. Black onyx and 14K gold filled. I don't know the gear on it. I'll figure it out. Right here, um, this is brand new. Dorset, Fifth Avenue. I looked it up and it said 30s, but I'm not sure the dating on this. I don't know how long they were doing it, making things. Okay, I'll figure it out. It's an older mirror, most definitely. Hey, look at me looking rough. It's hot in here. Um, I had to turn the air off for a while. It froze up. But anyways, it's a lovely, it's brass with a gold plating. I can tell by looking at it. It's 
No rocket science there for me. There's the back front. Pretty push, pops up, lovely, nice size. I do think it's 30s, might be older. I'll figure that out for certain. Okay, so I have a lot on here. I'm going to move my camera. Oh my God, I have a white agate, guys. Never saw it. African, white African agate. Let me show that. These are very nice. These are silver tone clips with a nice plating in the back. I don't see a signature. See, clips. Blue faceted rhinestone earrings. Very nice, about two inches on this. Back here, I have an um, Erpoculum. Am I pronouncing that right? Bracelet, Erpoculum. <laughs> I believe so, look at that. I don't have an exact dating on it, although they're all listed as Victorian online. I, I'm not sure about the dating on this, but look, I've never had one before of these. It might say gold filled on the class, but if it was, I would think it was during that time period. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out, um, or I'll hold it, or I'll just sell it as that. You are allowed to sell this, right? This is, isn't the thing that's... Okay. Anyways, it's a per operculum bracelet. Okay, cool. My first one I've ever found. It was in the box. So, it found me, kind of, huh? <laughs> this is, right here, is beautiful garnet. It's a, I think it's a gold-filled clasp. I'll test it to see if it's actually gold. Um... I have to see what it says on it. Garnet and and um rose quartz. Okay. Garnet and rose quartz. Operculum. Vintage bracelet. Definitely vintage. Judy Lee. Absolutely beautiful. Rhodium plated. Sign Judy Lee up on the back of the clasp. This. See, there's a little wearing on the clasp. It's a four-door clasp because of the aging of the bracelet. Beautiful. Moon glow, moon glow lucite, and I have to clean this a little bit for toothbrush, okay, and I will do that, but I think it's very nice. That is a beautiful Judy Lee bracelet. Here I have a multiples of stone. Um, I have cat's eye, some quartz, some unikite, some amethyst, some citrine. Um, onyx, I think? It kind of looks blue. I don't know, and right there's some quartz, like rose quartz, so I have that bracelet. This is beautiful costume but amazing this is majestic type look at that i love red you know it's a fold over class you have faux pearls in each end of over the this is a an acrylic like a a resin type of thing and there's the back it's a very nice bracelet i don't see a signature on it i'm thinking it's 1940s it is a fold over clasp again as well. Let's see. This little Lee Sands set's adorable. I was surprised. It's a Lee Sands cat with stones necklace. And I have two bracelets with it. They were both in the box. Isn't that cute? I believe these are a rose quartz and agate, a lace agate, rose quartz, and mother of pearl and onyx. And that is what they are. Cute. And inlaid with mother of pearl. Sounds like he's making a mess. It's okay. We'll clean it. This is beautiful. I have to test the metal. Okay. This is floating, look how beautiful, caged, caged jadeite. Beautiful, beautiful. And I didn't get this out of the box. I went to a to a um, carnival, I took Eva to the carnival and in the church sale, this is one of the things I found. I have something else to show too, but it was just hanging there. They didn't have much, but beautiful, beautiful uh, jadeite floating inside here. I have to test the metal, like I said. I think it's just a gold plating, but I, I will make sure. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a infinity, doesn't have a clasp. But lots of beautiful jadeite in there. And I love this. Let me show this. This had me excited. I have two of these. These are a book piece. I the but the uh the caped none none of the hooded ladies wore it. This is the Bolero 1961. It's a book piece. I have two of them, okay? It's called the Bolero series. Um I don't have the earrings unfortunately, but the hang tag, a spring ring class, beautiful Monet Bolero, B O L E R A E R O, Bolero, not Bolero. That, and then I have the lovely like Lariat like tie necklace. That if, oh, God, amazing. I mean, to find both of them from 1960 in pristine condition like this, I was very, very, very. I mean, they were in the box that I bought from the estate man, estate guy, as I call. Them. These look new. These are beautiful Monet necklaces. You got the 
one with the pendant. They've, and then you got the one of the tie with two of them. I don't have the matching earrings, but I have something that I think could be worn with it. And let me show you that. Let's tie this up. Well, that may not help there. I'm not doing it justice, but it's flat at all. I had it hung up nicely at first. So these are 1961. They are a book piece. Um, and they're beautiful. And there's two of them. I may offer them together as a set. Um, with a good starting bid. I just dropped my pearls. Hold on. I'll get them. Okay, so these are the earrings that aren't perfect, but could be matched good enough until you get the earrings. They have the same filigree texture on them, and these are Monet. So they can go with it. I can offer them when I do the auction. Okay, let me show you these because I'm super excited. I've never seen. I knew it was agate because I do know what agate looks like at this point, but I've never seen like a bunch like white agate really like this okay this is african white african agate and i forget what they called it lupani or something i didn't write that down but anyways this is amazing this is pricey this agate um and it's beautiful look at it should i enlarge it so you can see better white african agate well knotted in between to keep the stones safe from infant clicking very beautiful, very long as well. This is a long agate necklace. This is like 50 inches probably. Maybe I'm over-exaggerating it. Let's see if I'm right. It is 44, so I was off a little bit. So, beautiful white African agate. If you want to check that price out, I'll bring that Monday along with everything else. And then I have this. This is also very nice. Like <laughs> A nice, long, beautiful, multiple shapes strand of agate, knotted and beautiful. So... And I believe this is a Venturine. I didn't do any testing on it, but this was in the box. We have, do have a clasp on this. It looks brass with gold plating maybe, or just brass, but look, I think that's a Venturine. It's a strand. Nice, I think. All right, I think Davey sounds like he's being okay. He's pretty good. I have pearls. Let me show you a couple of them in Mother of Pearl. That's a big pearl on some, I think it's this braided leather. It's magnetic. I don't know who it is. I, there should be a marking on it. I've had these before. I'll look. But anyways, I have that. I have a lovely Mother of Pearl necklace with what looks like gold findings, but it's probably plated. Let me look at it. I don't know. I think it's plated, but anyways, it's nice, nice Mother of Pearl. I think it is. And this is a very long vintage mother of pearl necklace here, look. It does have a strand. I mean, it does have a clasp on it. These are, well, I don't know how old it is. That is, this is brass, that's not. I might trade it out and put a brass one on. I don't know, we should probably keep it original, but I think it was replaced. But it's beautiful mother of pearl and it's very long. I don't know how old it is actually, this one. I can't really tell until I looked at them. But anyways, it's lovely Mother of Pearl. Now, I have a Mother of Pearl for 14K clasp on it. That's this one. And these beads are probably 14K too. I'll test them. This is a beautiful rice pearl. And I need to clean it. The gold um, looks a little discolored. It needs cleaned. It does discolor slightly. 14K. I'll test it just to confirm all of it actually. That it's actually gold. Okay, so I believe it is though. These are really lovely quality rice pearls with what is either gold or gold filled beads on it. We'll have to test them. Three strands of that. Then I have a long strand of rice pearls that are pretty lovely as well. And this strand. They were all in the box. So we have some rice. We have this. And then I have the mother of pearls. The long strand that I don't know how old it is actually. And this with gold plated findings. I thought they were nice though. Um, I don't know who the maker is on this. Let me show it though. My pedestal's in the way. Okay, I'm going to move to pearls. Um, this is, um, this looks like a sage, but it doesn't have a tag as far as I can see. Okay. I mean, he, this is, they do sell sage and like, he has a whole counter of it and I've, I've seen it. Okay. But I don't know who it is. It is, um, I think it's agate and, and smooth and, um, topaz quartz okay not agate clear quartz 
in topaz quartz. Sorry, I'm tired and I'm trying to hurry. But I, I don't know if it is saging or not, but it's nice, okay? It looks like it, the, the construction and everything. But it is one, two, three, one, two, three, four, eight strands of beautiful um, quartz. Topaz quartz and clear quartz, see? Beautiful, it's very nice, actually. It's all stone and it's all lovely. This I thought was amazing. That is tiger eye beads and squares, and it's it got a good stretch on it. It's a nice bracelet. That was supposed to be back there. Okay. Um, I have hair. Let me go close, okay? This, I'm going to keep her, I think. Look at this. Oh, she's so cute. Let me show you the signature. I don't know. I didn't figure out who it was yet. It's been a rush. Like I said, it took me 10 hours to go through it. I was so tired when I was done. I wanted to get through it because I wanted to figure out what I was going to do in my video. And I still kind of have more to look at, but I'm pretty well done. It's hard to see. I know I can't make it out still. Let's figure it out. Okay. Anyways, we'll figure it out later. Look at her. Isn't she cute? There's an earring, too, with a man, and I didn't find the other earring. I think it was a match to go with it. Adorable. Kimberly something, I think. Okay, so what I have here is a bunch of earrings. I got this set at the yard sale. Pretty nice. Isn't that pretty? It has Japaning on it. No markings on the back, as far as I could see. Beautiful black faceted stones in there. And then a beautiful pair of clip earrings to go with it that are not signed either. I thought it was nice. I got that at the, um, at the carnival. She's beautiful. She needs clean. She had something on her. Beautiful. It says signed pewter down here. It's beautiful. Looks Victorian. I don't know if they did Victorian pewter back then. I'll research it. She's lovely though, isn't she? You can even see her neck. This is the top of her dress. And here's her what are they? I forget what they call it. It's her chest area. How's that? Do I can't pronounce. I don't remember what it's called. There's a name for it. But anyway, she's lovely. This is amazing. This is amazing. Emerald cut, emerald colored rhinestones. Beautiful grodian plating in the back. Soldered, lovely, lovely pin. This is about two and a half, three inches on this. Clear rhinestones throughout. I'm gonna brush it for toothbrush. It needs brushed up a little bit. I think it's lovely. That's very nice. I really like it. This is Sarah Coventry. It's adorable. Look at that. A cherry. It's signed Sarah Cove back here. It's adorable, loose sight. Is that a cherry or an apple, guys? Mm, I think it's an apple. I call it a cherry. It reminded me of a cherry. These are pricey. I have to figure out who this is. I'd seen one listed for like $80. It's a milk glass face, matte finished gold plating. His face is milk glass pronged, and he has little rhinestones set throughout his little jacket, and he's a tassel. I don't know who it is. Kind of looks like a horror, H-E-R, um, by the tassel and so forth, but I don't see a marking up, but I will keep looking because sometimes they, you miss them, okay? Anyways, he's cool. I like him. I think he's really neat. He's a scarecrow. There's those earrings I showed her. I think this is cool. I've already had one of these. There's another. i got to find a bottom for it. If I can find it fully pronged, I think. Or are they not pronged? Let me not lie. They are not pronged. They are set unpronged. Clear, clear uh, rhinestones. So I have that. Um, this is an amazing little piece here. These, this is coral. And that's actually peridot. Um, I didn't see a marking on it. It's a gold plating. This is a vintage pin. It's soldered on. I'm looking. Um... But it tests a stone, and I do believe that's coral. And I have a matching pair of earrings down here, a little pair supposed to go with it. There's a pair of earrings down there. I think that's nice. This is a lovely pair of earrings here as well. It's all lovely. It's why I picked it out to show. Beautiful. That looks like check glass um, to me. Not, not an expert there either, though, but it's nice. These are nice earrings. These are unsigned. And it wouldn't matter where they were made. Glass was um, transported all over the world from different areas for different people to make their jewelry. So it could be Germany and still be Czech glass, you know, all of that. Um, they fell. <laughs> but 
But anyways, these are beautiful. I don't know who the maker is again. Look at that. I think I just sold a bracelet that these would match. Light blue and dark blue rhinestones. Beautiful. Uh, emerald cut in the center and then round and square. They're nice. They look great. They're vintage. Um, I have, I did pair up a pair of lovely weiss as well. And these are nice weiss. Look at the construction. I had one of these earrings for quite some time. I went through the box yesterday and found the other one. I got them both from him in different boxes. Both weiss signed. Look how pretty. I love the construction of them. These look very art deco. I don't know the dating on them. I don't, I have to look. I'd have to look. Okay. I can't throw any type of time, uh, Look how they shine too, they're beautiful. Anyways, we'll just say they're vintage. We do know that. And they're weiss and they're lovely. And I paired up the St. John, which I was super excited about because I thought these were amazing. Signed, St. John on the clip, full, full, not that one, just one. Sometimes that's a common thing. Signed St. John there. And then on the side, you have the fancy SJ, St. John. These are beautiful. These have, these look rhodium plated to me. Um, and they're beautiful. Looks like crystals. Lovely the way it shines. They're very beautiful St. John clip earrings. These are a nice pair, higher, high, decent end, higher end than some of the other St. John's that I've seen. Okay, this is an original by Robert. Now, is it agate? I have my tester on. I, it looks like agate. It's glass. It's agate glass, okay? Doesn't look like agate. Um, this is an original by Robert. I don't know the exact dating on it. I can look. It is easy to figure out with the signatures on some of these people, especially his is well documented. You can figure that out. Original by Robert. And it is agate glass, I guess. That's what I'm calling it. Faux pearls around here. It's very beautiful. This looks old. Jewelry's been made for a while. I'll look. This looks old. I don't know exactly how old. But it is soldered on. And it is a rollover clasp. And it has a hook that would have been a chain, I think, to help keep it from losing it. I'll look at the exact dating. This looks brass of gold plating to me. Or a splash, or they call it, you know, paint on there. Gold on there. It's nice. This is faux, faux jade and beautiful green rhinestones. Let me zap it. I believe it's faux. It definitely looks faux to me. Uh, it's going up a little bit. <laughs> Could be because it was cold in a certain area or whatever. It's faux. Um, there's the back. That's what it looks like. And it's pretty. It looks like a daisy or something. A beautiful, some kind of flower. And these are pronged. I thought it was nice. That was in my box. And I love this. I love this. I want to keep the fish. I collect the fish. This is vintage and unsigned. Like you've got faux pearls in the center. And then you got clear rhinestones throughout. And he has a rhinestone eye that is green. And they are both there. Pisces. My daughter's a Pisces. Eva is a Pisces. Oh, I have a really nice pair of copper earrings as well. Science Renoir. Look at those. They match that bracelet. This big bracelet kind of, I think. Or one of those big chain bracelets. Thick chain bracelets. They're nice. These are our Science Renoir. Nice copper clips. What else do I have? Something interesting. Look at this. Maybe somebody can tell me if they think it is. This is made in Italy. I believe it's religious of some some type of... And it needs cleaned. Again, it was some of the stuff sitting on... That's like dust. Not dust. It's particles from um, from displays. There was a, a, um, this type of thing in there. There were a couple of these, and some of them fell apart, and they have like this weird material under it. So that's what it is. But anyways, um, it looks like it should glow as well. Do I have a... It doesn't matter. I'll figure it out later. But what do you think that... Look, I see... Looks like Mary and Joseph on the side. And that's like in a church. Let me enlarge it further. If I can. It's signed Italy. It's gold plated. It's green rhinestones. I don't know what that is. I can only take it up to... It does look like Mary and Joseph over there, right? Possibly. I don't know what it is completely. My eyes are getting so bad. It's an altar or something. It's something to do with the church. It's signed Italy. I thought it was in the box. I showed it. It was interesting. Monet. Beautiful Lucite Monet. Clear Lucite. Very nice, actually. Like Nice blue. Blue and clear. Okay. 
and and I have this this is very beautiful I have a pair of earrings that matches I hope I find the other one um well I mean I have one single earring that looks like this this is a pin but um only one hopefully I find it okay moving forward this is adorable there's a little pair of earrings in it it's got some of that stuff on it and it needs cleaned collectible number one genuine pewter it's a little container um that is guys I took 10 hours and I didn't get to clean everything fully yet but it's signed pewter signed under here miss d little roses a little box little pewter box of little rose earrings cute okay he was probably like hurry up um i have another one of these <laughs> okay, these are i call them scatter pins when they're more than one and they're like an inch you have two pins that go together there we go nice i think they're nice i have those this is in this is um victorian this is um i i think this goes on a necklace um like you could put it over like a necklace and it would pull up and down um i could probably do that i'm, I'm gonna try i have a couple snail chains i'm gonna see how it would work if i like lace something in there but anyways beautiful red here this is what it looks like this is gilt with gold this would be brass with gold over it it's very beautiful i don't see a marking on it there's the back you can see the gold more in the back less wearing it's beautiful. I also have one of faux pearls. I'm not showing it today, but I do have that. He's holding a piece of agate, I think. Or some kind of stone. Isn't he cool? He's just base metal, I think. He again needs cleaned up. I got some fuzz on him for me. White. He's using napkins. To clean. I have to further clean. I have to soak things and stuff, and I'll do it. They're not too bad, but they do need clean before I sell them. I don't want to sell people things that are dirty. I usually don't. I, I've been told my stuff's not dirty when people get it. I hope it's not. Okay, um, these are Swarovski. Very beautiful. I have another pair I couldn't locate. The other earring, but aren't they nice? They are nice. They're a pair of sleever back um, blue crystal. Gold plated. Always gold plated or rhodium plated. These ones are golden. These are lovely little Swarovski heart earrings. These are Judy Lee. They need cleaned as well a little bit. They're only, they're signed. They're signed on a clip right there. Signed Judy Lee. And you have glass and a moon glow loose sight. Nice big Judy Lee clips. Um, these are signed Italy. These are Venetian uh, glass. They are signed Made Italy right back here. Can you see that? Italy Made. They're signed. Look how pretty. Nice, nice earrings. They're brass. Of a gold plating and beautiful Phoenician glass that are actually signed made in Italy. Is that it? Did I show everything? No, I have a couple more. Me and Moving Eva's probably getting a little frantic. Uh, he he's he's not bad, but he's two and a half. This is really nice. I really I had to show it. I thought it was fantastic. You pull the flower that off the bottom, and there you have another stick pin. I have that one. I also had a. Um, it's right there. I'll show it. Look at this. This is nice. It's vintage. It is a bowling pin. It is a bowling pin, right? Or is that like a wine bottle? Or kind of like a genie bottle. I don't know. It's something cool. <laughs> I thought this was really nice. Kind of reminds me. It's, it's very beautiful. Look at that pink, like, satin glass with cat's eye. Whatever you want to. It looks more like a... Is it signed? Hold on. No, it's not signed. It's a little ring. It's an inch about a ring brooch pin. This is, I've never heard of this person before, but I have a couple of her pieces. Judith Green. I don't know if she's like a replica I made to look older, but that looks brass with a gold plating. Needs clean. Um, or that may be, there, that, I have that. I have two of them from her. This one's from hers too. And let me zap that. I think that's glass. It's made to look like turquoise. I think her stuff's costume made to look like different types of pieces, but that's a guess because I didn't research her yet. But that is glass looks like a kind of like a turquoise and it has that thing i have to see how old it is judith green i don't know her i'd see how old her jewelry is and so forth um i thought this was nice beautiful red and clear rhinestones throughout it's nice it's a vintage brooch 60s i believe um and i have this in my hand this is a coro it is signed coro in the back twice beautiful little rhinestones and glass flowers on there probably porcelain 
cute. I think I showed you everything here, right? I have a couple things in the container here. This is a really, really, really nice stamp, J. Lane. This is a pretty fabulous one. Look, it is signed KJL China. These were probably the ones that were on M Home Shopping Network or whatever. They are knotted with silk in between and glass, fabulous, long, um, silver and a creamish a white colored pearl these are kenneth j lane they're really nice these are heavy they look and feel really kind of like majorca pearls which are the which they could be made the similar i'm not really sure i'll read into them a little bit when i get the time so if those i think all of this will come monday maybe portion of it. it's a lot of jewelry anyways this is a really nice monet bracelet it needs buttoned better. It has, it has the original, has a copyright on it, so I know it's after 55, so on the back of the hang tag hair, and then on hair it doesn't. But this is probably like the 60s, but it's a nice, nice Monet bracelet. Nice quality. has the original safety chain on it. I didn't close it up, but there it is. It's a sister chain. It hooks, sister hook, it hooks onto there. Beautiful, in great shape. I have a couple more things. Let me show you. Um, get through these. It's not a whole lot more. Well, this is a little seashell, little stick pin. I thought it was cute. There's a lot more I haven't shown. I probably have at least another batch this big and then another one that I'll be shown at some point. There's that shell. Beautiful rose, matte finish. Um, I think, I don't know if that's painted. In, I think it's painted enamel. They like paint it for like a pearly. I thought it was beautiful. I hear him up there. I hope he's not being too too wild. <laughs> I was going to have him in here, but he didn't want it. I tried bring, leaving him in here so he could talk and stuff and can hear him. People want to hear him, but he didn't want to do it. He didn't feel like it. He's too, you know, it's boring for him. This is a Monet pin. Very beautiful little thing. This, I think this is cool. Rodian played it in the back. And it's they're a little discolored here, but it's an old phone. Cool. I thought it was nice. A pair of Laguna, or unsigned, I'd say in Laguna because I've had so many of them. Air Climbers AB Crystal. Clip earrings. And I thought this was cute. I picked this up to show. Isn't that cute? Everything's moving. Can we call it a trembler? I guess. It's a very light metal. It's brass and, and, and probably stale. I don't know if it sticks to a magnet. I don't have, let's see. Because then it'll, it's not brass, it's brass finish. <laughs> okay. Cute. A little butterfly. And over here is a star. I really adorable, I think. It moves, it's, it's unsigned. I have a couple Christmas ones like this out of the box, too. There's the hat. Is that it? Oh, this is for me. Because, you know, I like my clowns. This looks very, I don't know who the maker is. I don't see one, but look at them. He's missing a rhinestone. I don't care because I'm keeping them. I might fix them for myself. I like his enameling. I like the color of yellow. You can tell he's vintage. Don't know quite how old. These are, this is signed Alexis Ka, I believe. A-L-E-X-K-A. -L -L -E I think that's how you pronounce her name. Ka, Alexis Ka. These are cool. Wood and brass type of, wood and brass, not type. There's her signature back here. I think they're cool. They're painted. They're neat. They're different. She does a lot of that. I looked her up, and I've, I've seen her before. I've had her jewelry. These are E. Pearl for Earl. E. Pearl. Is that Erwin or Edwin? Oh, terrible. How dare you? Just call them E. Pearl. It's Erwin, right? I don't know. If I'm wrong, don't laugh too hard. No, I'm joking. Gold plating and faux pearls. Pair staring. Signed, E. Pearl. Let me show you the signature. pearl. A pair of pierced earrings. I have a little pair of pearl, real pearl earrings. Why not show them since I have those pearls and they match. They're 925 on the, the back and these are really beautiful button pearls. They don't quite match the other pearls, but here they are. Um, These are signed Hong Kong, not Ho Ho Art and Craft Incorporated. I don't know the dating on these. I'm thinking 60s by looking at them. Ho Ho Art and Craft Building. New York, New York. Look. I think these used to have a piece on the bottom too, because I did go online and see them and they had the piece on the bottom. It's like, oh, not the same thing until I looked on it. But I don't know the exact dating on them. I'm sorry, I'm really large. I'll figure it out. Cool. I thought they were cool. They're signed in the back as well. Two zebras like from America Run. And is that it? 
No, almost. Look at this unsigned aluminum. Cool. I think it's cool. Cute little pin. Pick that out of that show. And um, that's it then. Okay, I will be having a sale Monday evening at 8 p.m. That's 6, 10, 2024, 8 p.m. Eastern time. Join me. That's really cute, right? Little pin. And there's more. I will pull more out. Just, this is all I could show. I figured this is a half an hour video at least. And I, yeah, I got to get out there because Eva's probably at her wits end. She's, you know, she's 14, guys. And thank you for watching my video. I appreciate it. I hope to see you Monday evening. Have a good day. Bye.